Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Loki from the Avengers. We're going to start with the eyes. Let's get started on the left side eyelid. So we start on the outside of the eye. We're going to curve down to the inside of the eye. So starting on the outside, we'll curve down. Let's leave a gap in the middle and do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to start on the inside of the eyelid and curve to the outside. From here, let's tuck the eyeballs in underneath. So it's almost like a half circle tucked in underneath the eyelid. So we're going to leave a little overlap on the left side here, curve around to the bottom, and then tuck this in underneath. We'll do the same thing on the right side, starting from the inside, curve down to the bottom of the eye, and tuck this in underneath the eyelid. From here, let's add two little circles on the top left area for a highlight. So up here, we'll start at the top, circle around, and back up to the top. We're going to tuck the pupil in underneath, just in the center of the eyeball. So starting at the bottom of the highlight, circle around, and then come into the side of the highlight. We'll color that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to start with the highlight first, starting from the top. We'll circle around. Now we'll tuck the pupil in underneath, right in the middle of the eyeball. So starting at the bottom of the highlight, we'll circle around, and we'll color that in black. Let's move to the center of the face and draw in the nose. So we're going to start by drawing in almost like a V shape with some curved ends. So on the left side, we'll curve down and in towards the middle. And then we're going to do a hard turn, curving up towards the right side. Let's add some nostrils. So just on the bottom of the left side here, we're going to curve around with almost like a C shape. And on the right, we'll do like a backward C. At the top of the nostrils, we're just going to curve down and out, just for a little smile line, just going out like that. Below the nose, we're going to draw the mouth. So we're just going to draw a curve from left to right, right here, curving down, and then up on the right. We're going to add a little bracket on the ends, just for a finisher on the sides of the mouth. Now below the mouth, we're going to come down here and draw in a curve for the bottom lip. Let's draw the front edge of the helmet. So just above the left eye, we're going to start up here and curve down towards the middle. So right here, curve down over the eye, and then in towards the middle. We'll do the same thing on the right side, so curving up and out to the side of the head. From here we're going to come down in an angle with a curve around the eye. So from the left side here we're going to curve down and in, right beside the eye. On the right we'll do the same thing, coming down to the same height on both sides. Now we're going to curve inwards towards the mouth. From here we'll curve in towards the mouth. Now we're going to come down the sides, so we're going to curve these down to the bottom of the jaw flap. Just curving down and in. Let's draw on the bottom of the jaw. So just above the bottom of this line, I'm just going to draw a curve. Going from left to right for the bottom of the chin. Let's draw on the sides of the jaw flap. So from this corner here, we're going to step over and just draw a curve coming down. We're going to come down and inwards to right about there. Now from this point, I want to connect to that tip with a curve. Curving in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting on the side here, curve down and in to right about there. Now we're going to curve to that point. Starting from the point and curving out. Now before I get into the rest of the helmet, I want to draw on the horns because they overlap the rest of the helmet. So just above the left eye right here, I'm going to draw a curve. A little swooping curve that comes down and then in towards the middle. We're going to leave a gap, do the same thing above the right eye. From here I'm going to swirl the inside part of the horns. Now these are pretty long, so I'm going to start from down here. I'm going to go up and then pull it downwards. So going out towards the left, to the top, and I'm just going to pull it down to right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to start at the top here, and curve up, and then down, curving down towards the inside of the horn. I want to give this edge some thickness. So from this corner, I'm going to draw a short line going up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now I want to take these points and curve all the way to the tip, so it's a point at the top. So we start at the top, curve up and around. Now I want to make my way down to that side there. Just trying to keep that line thickness consistent. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So going up and then just carefully coming down to that point. We're going to draw the front face of these horns. So at the top of this peak here, I'm going to curve out and just come down to that side. So going outwards and then just curving it down to that point. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting at the top of this curve, going out and then pulling it down to that point. 
From here, now I can draw in the rest of the helmet and curve it in behind the horns. Now the top of the head just basically rounds, so we're just going to draw a curve like this. Starting on the left side, I'm just going to continue this line in behind the horn. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So continuing this line, curving it behind the horn. For the top of the head, so you can sort of imagine this connecting behind the horns here. So on the left, we'll bridge the horns with a curve across. Let's add a little bit of detail. So above this curve in the middle here, we're just going to draw a little trim. So from the side of the helmet, I'm just going to curve across towards the middle. I'm going to curve to the outside on the right, curving out. On the bottom edge of the jaw flap, I'm just going to draw another trim. So from here, I'm going to curve across to the inside. And I'm going to curve down, just following that same curve down towards the bottom. I'll do the same thing over here, starting from the top, curving to the outside of the helmet, and then curving down towards the tip of the jaw flap. From these two points in the corner of the horn, I'm just going to draw two angled lines coming in, like that. And then from the top corners, we're just going to draw two angled lines coming inwards towards the middle. And I'm going to connect those two points with a straight line going across. From these two corners, I'm just going to pull two lines coming down. Now I'm going to take these two points that come down towards the middle, towards a point, right in the middle. From behind these two horns on the inside, we're going to curve in towards the middle. So on the left side here, we'll curve down, it's right about there, then we'll curve up and out on the right side. On the corners of the horns outside here, we're going to draw a curve coming down towards that top line on both sides like that. Let's give them some eye bags. So on the inside of the left eye, we're just gonna draw a curve coming down. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Okay, so now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. So I'm gonna draw the inner part of the cloak first. Now it's gonna be a really long cloak, so it's gonna have a little bit of a wave. So just on the left side of the center, we're gonna draw a curve going down and in and then out. So we're gonna curve out and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So we're just gonna mirror this. So starting up here, we're going to curve out and then down to the same height. Let's draw the inner flap of the jacket. So right here, we can angle out. On the right, we'll angle out. Now we're going to follow the same curve on the outside edge here. So curving down to right about there on both sides. And we're going to curve and tuck this in with an angle to the inside of the coat. Let's draw in a little collar detail. So along this line, about halfway, we're just going to curve up and tuck this in underneath the head. We'll do the same thing on the right. We're going to add a little detail right here. So from left to right, on the inside of the coat, we're going to draw a curve. We're going to draw that twice, so one down below it. And then for some detail, we'll add two angled lines going out. Let's add the body strap that goes across this way. So from the left side edge, we're going to curve across to the right. We're going to draw that twice, so we're stepping down. We'll curve across. Now we're going to add a little detail here. So angling this way, go up at the top and then along the bottom. Let's draw the inside coat. So just below that strap right here, we're going to curve down towards the right. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left side. So we're going to overlap this line. Starting underneath this belt, curve over towards the left. Now we're going to curve these up and tuck this in underneath the edge of the coat, going up on both sides. We're going to add a couple curving lines behind the strap. So right on this line, curve in behind that strap and continue just above it. We'll do that one more time. So right here, we'll curve in behind the strap and then along the top. Let's work our way into the shoulders. So in this little gap right here, we're going to draw an angled line going out and down. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to curve these underneath the helmet. So curving up and in on both sides. I'm going to add a little trim on the shoulder area. So up here, I'm just going to follow that down on the inside and then in underneath the collar. Do the same thing on the right side. Moving across. We'll add a little chest detail here. So from this corner, this little point, we're going to step in towards the right and curve underneath this coat flap. On the right, we'll step in towards the left and curve in as well. We're going to draw that twice. So up here, I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker. I'm just drawing two curves out. Now from here we could draw in the outside edge of the coat. So right along here, we want to sort of determine the width of the body. So right here, we're going to curve out. We'll do the same thing on the right side, so curving out. Let's connect those two points with a curve that scoops down. From the outside to the inside of the coat, I'm going to add a little trim along the bottom. So following that same curve, just along the bottom of the coat. 
Now I want to add some stripes along here. So along, we're going to take this curve and just duplicate it, just below it. We do this three times, curving across. We'll do the same thing over here. So curving up, three times like that. Let's work our way down the legs. So in between the coat, in between this little area here, we're going to draw the lower torso. So a curve from left to right. On the left side, we're going to step over towards the right and curve down towards the heel. On the right, we're going to step over towards the left and curve down towards the heel on the right. Now we're going to draw on the bottoms of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, I'm going to draw a curve. To the bottom of the foot, we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to curve the top of the feet. So from the toe, I'm going to curve the top and aim towards the heel, but I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to stop right about there. At the top of this curve, I want to aim towards the hip. So curving up. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So start, starting at the inside, curve to the tip of the foot. Now at the top of the curve, again, we're going to aim towards that hip, curving up. Let's draw the edge of the boot cuff. So right here, we'll curve across. We'll do the same thing on the right side. We're going to add a little bit of sole. So taking this line and just duplicating it just above it on both sides. Let's work our way into the arms. So I'm going to start with the right side first. So the arm's going to come down into a fist. So we're going to start on the inside of the arm first. So right down here, we're going to curve out. We're going to round out the thumb, so a little half circle. Now at the edge of this line, we're going to draw a little bracket to close off the thumb. Now at the bottom of the thumb here, we're just going to circle around the bracket and going up. We're going to layer in the fingers going upwards. So on the side of this finger, we're going to curve up. Now the third finger is going to go all the way up and tuck in underneath that shoulder pad. So we're going to go all the way up and tuck that in. We'll draw on the cuff of the jacket. So from this point in the uh, wrist, we're going to curve across. Now here we want to draw in like a forearm guard. So right here we're going to curve with that same curve of the inside of the arm. Just going up. It's right about there. We're going to curve across to the outside of the arm. Now right here we're just going to draw a little strap. So from that corner we're going to step down and draw a little curve like that. Let's go to the left arm. Now this one I'm going to have him holding his scepter. So we start with the top of the arm first. So you can see where this arm goes up into the shoulder pad. We're going to start here on the left side. Curving down and out towards the left. Now we're going to round out the thumb. So this point here, we go up and we're just going to swirl this around and come back up about halfway along that curve. At the top of this point, we're going to curve back for the wrist, the little palm of the hand here. Now we're going to layer in the fingers. So on the left side of this thumb, we're going to curve out and in, almost like a half oval. We're going to layer in the second finger. So right here, we're going to curve around, come around to the bottom of the thumb and just tuck that in. And we'll draw one more finger. So right here, we'll curve around and then tuck that in. Now before we can draw in the rest of the arm, I'm going to draw in the scepter. So I'm going to start with two lines side by side going up above the hand. We're going to draw the scepter in a bit of an angle here. So we'll do two lines side by side. Now one line on the inside is a little bit shorter because we want to overlap this with an angled line going across like that. Now I'm going to close off that gap on the inside. From here on the inside we're going to curve up to the tip of the blade. So going up and angling out. I'm going to curve this back in and just aim towards the middle of this line. But we're going to stop about halfway. So right about there I'm going to draw in the little gem. So a circle starting from the top, come around and then back up to the top. Right beside here, on the side of the circle, we're going to curve up with a short curve. Now from that point, we're going to curve down to the outside of the scepter, curving around like that. We're going to take this curve and just continue all the way down to the bottom line. So just a straight line coming down, and then on the outside here, we're just going to step down with a short line, and then angle in like that. Let's draw on the bottom of the staff. So we're going to follow this line underneath the finger, and we're going to curve it out. So it's coming outwards this way. On this line, we're going to go even further out. So it gets a little bit wider at the base. And it's going to go a little bit lower as well. We'll connect those two points with a curve. We're going to add some detail. So just above here, we're going to draw another curve this way. And then right here, in the middle of the staff, we'll curve in the opposite direction. Let's add one more up here for some detail. Let's finish off this arm. So from this wrist point, we're going to curve around and in behind the scepter. So curving around. We'll just tuck this in behind like that. On the bottom of the palm here, we're going to curve in behind the coat. So curving in like that. 
Up here, I'm just going to separate the arm with a little wristband going across. I'm going to add some of his hair sticking out along the bottom here. So right here on the left side, underneath this jaw flap, I'm going to curve out. I'm going to pull that back in so it gets a little bit wider as we come back in. Now we're going to do one more point. We're going to curve out and then we'll tuck that back in underneath the shoulder pad. We're going to color that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So underneath the jaw flap, we'll curve out. I'm going to curve that back in so it gets a little bit wider. We'll do one more point. So curving out and then we'll tuck that back in underneath the arm. We'll color that in black. The final step, we're just going to add the cape in behind the body. So in line with the shoulder pad, stepping down here behind the arm, we'll curve out. On the right side, we're going to step down from that shoulder pad and curve out towards the right. We're going to connect those two points with a curve that goes behind the legs. Starting on the left side, we'll curve in behind the leg here, continue along the middle, and then pull this up on the right side. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Loki from the Avengers. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Chibi playlist. We add new lessons seven days a week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.